So the first question that I wanted to ask Willie was, did he bring his the trumpet, the, the duck thing? You know, I was so upset. I didn't realize we were blowing horns today, <laughs> and I've seen that on the stage, and I certainly would have brought my duck call, which is the official, <laughs> the Can official you the horn noise? of Louisiana. So uh, I'm, I blew it. <laughs> Make it with your mouth. That would just ruin our whole business. Okay. Because, you know, you got to buy the duck call. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But one of the things that you have done, both of you together, is to establish a really successful business in quite hostile territory. So can you just talk us through some of the ways that you've done that, some of the obstacles that you found, and some of the things that have gone with the grain and enabled you to do this? Mm. Yeah, I think our, our story in our businesses was truly the American dream. You know, we came from nothing. Um, uh, I remember uh, President Obama at the time said, uh, you know, you've got bridges and roads. And my dad screamed out at the television, we live on a dirt road. You can't <laughs> claim our what happened here, you know. Uh, and so we came from nothing, uh, had this dream of, uh, you know, one day we could sell a lot of these duck calls and certainly... Uh, that happened, and I think what we did in business was was actually stay true and authentic to who we were. So we once we got on television, we ended every television show with a prayer, and we were respectful to one another, and which is what Hollywood at the time uh, they really didn't think it would work. They were like, "That's not how kids act towards their parents, and this is not how uh, there was going to be no cursing and no arguing, no nudity uh, on the show." and it's Not quite only, a lot of blowing things up, though. Well, we do like blowing things up. <laughs> a lot of that. A lot of that. Which is actually encouraged in Louisiana, so I don't know <laughs> they do it here. But <laughs> we're into that. Uh, but not only did it work, it ended up going to the top. And so we saw this real thirst for, you know, for the values that we had. And so I think one of the secrets to our success was being authentic and saying, this is who we are. We're not going to change uh, to become something, you know, this mis misnomer that you have to become something different. And that was one of the real keys to our success. Yeah, I think whenever we switched over from making duck calls to entertainment, we just kept that authenticity. We knew deep down that, you know, our roots and the, the faith and the values that we hold dear with family and our faith, that that was more important than whatever success or fame might come if we compromised that. And when you think of the environment which you are building your business into, how do you think that these communities that only have dirt roads, as you say, mm -hmm. can be rejuvenated? Well, I think they, I mean, I think for us, I think we showed that, that you can. We, we need to tell better stories. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we were good at telling stories because we, that's all we had. So we didn't have a lot, we had stories. And so uh, uh, it's interesting, listen to this whole dynamic about how, how children should grow up. And I was sitting here thinking, that's exactly how we grew up. There was no computers, there was no social media. My father would come and say, everybody out of the house, come back at dark. And so we just had to figure out what to do outside, uh, which I look back on, wow, that was awesome and it was brilliant. So I think there, there can be that. I think people, and, and, and I think we have to realize that we're, we're you know, we are ignored. Uh, I think we are, you know, we're just, we're kind of ignored and saying, oh, these people. And so um, I think we've just got to show that, hey, we have a giant voice. You know, we found that with Duck Dynasty, there was, you know, tens and tens of millions of people who it wasn't just that the show was funny or that we blew stuff up it was the values that yeah. was the thing and even hollywood even the network didn't quite understand that and so i think there can be there can be hope and when we tell these stories and show these stories yeah i think that um rejuvenation starts in the family as we've heard so eloquently today that it does start in the family and if you um you know we actually live on our street with five generations and we value that and we see the value in that. And I think we live in this culture where it tells us if you disagree with somebody, you should not show up for holidays or you should cut them off or not follow or unfriend. But whenever you live in community, you truly live in community, you live in family unit and you learn from the different generations, you understand that like, oh, we can have differing opinions, we can have different views, but we come together and we sit around the table together and we love one another and we respect one another. And I think that starts within a family unit. So one of the things that um, we love about um, your business is that you are genuinely using what's in your hands and in front of you to transform culture. Mm -hmm. And thinking about how business contributes to culture, 
And uh, how have you found, like, how do you think about the fact that you have this extraordinary vehicle now, mm -hmm. creative, creative industry, actually, mm -hmm. to contribute to culture? Well, I think success matters. I think uh, everyone takes notice of success. And so I think the, the less that we're successful, the, the, you know, if we're, not, if we're not able to be successful in the market or, you know, if we didn't sell a lot of duck calls or if our television show didn't rate real well and, and was out of it, it you know, it's, it, it needs to be important. It needs to be important. It needs to be big. And so once that's successful, where everybody's like, wow, look at this, you know, look at what this is. These are people with, with values. We just made a movie the same way. And so we have the same values. The more successful they are, the more you'll see of that. Uh, you know, that's just the nature of it. And I think we've gotten, uh, oftentimes we've gotten beat or letting, you know, Hollywood have all the entertainment. We, we let them make all the television shows. And then we're, we, we yell and complain about what we're watching and consuming, but because we don't have anything else that's, that can compete and that's good and successful. So uh, we just learned that. And I think that's general business 101, <laughs> right? You know, be successful and then other people will take note of that. One of the mantras that David and I have, David's my, my husband, is uh, to create, not complain. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have been doing. And you've just uh, released, or about to release, a new film as well. Can you tell us about that, Corey? Yes, we did. We just released a film called The Blind that is the origin story of the family. And I think Doug Dynasty, you see, you know, the fun of the family and blowing stuff up. And we sit together at the dinner table. But there is a backstory to the family that it almost didn't happen. The, there's an episode um, that's called Till Duck Do Us Part. It's the episode where Phil and Kay, our Willie's parents, renew their vows. And it was such an important episode to our family because that almost didn't happen. There, the family was split up at a time. There was a time when Kay was a single mom with three little boys um, because Phil had alcohol addiction and a lot of, you know, he, had, he was broken. He was in a place of brokenness. But the message of the movie is that you can change, that your life can change, that you can take a different path and that's what happened for their family Phil showed back up and said I want to change my life and Miss Kay <coughs> forgave him which is a theme we've talked about today there was a forgiveness that happened that saved their family our duck dynasty would have never happened and you would have never seen the fruits of that so if there are people here listening who are thinking, I actually want to create things, I actually want to contribute to culture, I actually want to create a business, but oh my word, it's tough out there, what advice would you have for them? Well, you just have to get up and get after it and go get it, you know, I mean, the way... <laughs> get up, get after it, and go get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Uh, I, I think that's what we learned growing up, you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, stacking firewood. You've got to mm -hmm. keep stacking it. And, you know, it, uh, yeah. Doug Dynasty came along. My dad started this company in 1972. So when the show came out, people said, Willie, what's it like being an overnight success? And I was like, well, it was 40-something years ago. <laughs> so it didn't seem like an overnight yeah. success to us. And so dad just kept with it and kept with it and was content. And he had these other things. And so it wasn't until we came along and then put the pieces together. So sometimes it does uh, take a while, but you do. You just have to go and compete and don't, don't listen to the world and what they're telling you uh, because they will tell you what to do, when to do it, and when to be quiet and, and you know, we just don't listen to that. We just go. Yeah. Actually, when we were first approached to do a television show, we realized how fearful, particularly Christians, are of Hollywood and entertainment and people, you know, well-meaning, were so scared for us. They're like, don't you know what happens? Like, you're going to get divorced and your kids are going to end up on drugs. And there was this, like, fear of, like, don't go to Hollywood. And I'm like, well, you know, I think that there's something there that we are called to be lights. We are called to be um, salt of the earth. And so we shouldn't be shy and shrink away from, from that. If we don't go to Hollywood, others will create the culture for us. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you to Willie and Corey Robertson. Thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much.